magazines. Um, all these budget guns have a detachable drop-down box magazine. And the reason is, it's for, you know, again, ease of manufacturing, keep the cost down. Now, you know, there's been a lot of discussion, especially Remington took a hit. People always kind of criticize these magazines. Now, I have the five guns. There's only one that I've had the magazine malfunction on. And that is the Remington 783. Now, this particular magazine, Remington brags, other than like the 770, the earlier version, that it has a metal latch and all that other stuff. And this particular one loads, you just push down, it's a staggered magazine, so you just line the cartridges up, push them straight down, other than having to go in the center. But this is the only one that malfunctioned, and what happened was the fourth round will not sit in here straight. It'll sit at an angle like this with the back end of the case down and the bolt doesn't pick it up. So what you do is when you get the four rounds in, I made a video where I showed this, you just wiggle it till that lines up straight, put it in. This has got a good lock and latch and then it's fine. But you gotta, kind of like the old Vietnam movies where you see them where they load an M16 magazine, tap it on their helmet or tap it back. It's kind of one of those deals. So it's something you'd have to pay attention or the gun will not feed that first round. Okay. That's the only one that malfunctioned. And it locks in there solidly. Nice. So there's been other people that had other problems. The second one that I had a problem with is the TC Compass. Now this magazine locks in and out, it's all plastic, it locks in pretty solid and that, but the problem with this mag, and I had to make a video about it, I could only get three rounds into it when I first had the gun. And this is one of these that you got to start in the center here, get the case in the middle of the mag, push down on the round underneath it and slide it back. And this is a rotary magazine, it goes to the left. Well, I could get three rounds in it easily when I tried to push the fourth one in there. It wouldn't budge, and you have to go and shove it sideways and move it, and I finally got it to where it goes in. And somebody said that in time it'll become easier to do. The more you do it, you break it in. But uh, anything complicated or difficult like that, and then again, it is all plastic, so durability question. It's just, it works. I mean, it functions. The gun will function. Once you get the cartridges in, it functions 100%. Uh, the more complicated something is, the more it can go wrong with it. That's my feeling on it. But, it, like I said, it locks in nice, <coughs> simple, flush. But I didn't like the idea that I had trouble or I have to force something to get it to work. Okay, so that's number four. Number three here, and it's kind of a tie between these, is uh, Savage Axis. I've had no trouble whatsoever with the Savage in functioning. It's metal, and its latch here is plastic. And again, it's one of these you have to start kind of in the center of the magazine. You get your four rounds in. I have not had any failures to feed or anything like that. The only thing is this one, when you go to latch it, it's kind of weak with that plastic. The latch is kind of weak. I kind of don't like that. I like a more positive solid thing. But once it's in there and it's latched, it functions. And uh, so I, I haven't had any trouble with it functioning, but I just, you know, that's why Remington advertised that their piece here, instead of being plastic, is steel that latch part. But it's okay, so that one comes in third place. Second place is the Remington 770. Now, this gun got a lot of knocks, but it's, it's mag. You press it, it's got a plastic spring-loaded latch, pretty heavy in there. And it's a basic box mag, steel, four rounds. Again, 
Same thing, you gotta go through the center and push them down at least with this 243. And uh, it goes in and locks up fairly well. You know, locks up tight, positive, and works. Okay, I have had no troubles with a failure to feed with this magazine. Of course, it's not staggering. Well, it does stagger, but it feeds like on a center line. A little bit different than the 783. But it locks in place, no trouble. Uh, easy, you know, easy to use, so that comes in second. Now, the one that comes in first, or the one I like the most, is in the Mossberg Patriot. Now this one, it's all plastic. Now a lot of people detract other than the spring, the whole unit's plastic and the latch and that. But you feed this in just like a standard staggered magazine, just push the cartridges straight down so it's easy to load, no fumbling for me, and uh, goes up, locks pretty positive, positive snap, you know, locks in place good. So far, no uh, problems whatsoever with that magazine. And that's a five rounder too. That, that one holds five rounds and the compass holds five rounds and all the rest are four round magazines. But uh, I have not had, I've heard of people having all kinds of serious problems with the Remingtons and magazines falling apart and that. I haven't, but that's my experience with them. Like I said, I only had the one that would fail to feed. All the rest of them feed. Um, and like I said, the different things about them, it's just probably over time will they wear out or uh, become a problem just on how they're designed. But that's the magazine uh, portion comparison. And out of all of them, I like the Mossberg the best. Um, probably the compass would come in second, but I don't like the fact that I had to force it and it's, it's, you know, I, I don't like that. That I didn't like, but, you know, I, like the guy said, maybe over time it'll loosen up. Then, uh, the compass will move up from four to two in that respect. <laughs>